Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to build this really simple color animation that you're seeing on your screen that you can use as a background. You can use it for your loading screens, your splash screens, your waiting screens, and even your sign up screens. So let's quickly see how can we do this in Figma. So let's get started. So to build this animation, the first thing that we need is an artboard. So let's pick an artboard. I'm going to pick an iPhone 13 Pro artboard. By the way, you can pick any artboard that you want. Okay. So now that our artboard is here, now what we have to do is we have to add a bunch of shapes. Now you can do ellipses, you can do rectangle, square, or any weird shape that you want to build. That's totally fine. It's irrelevant and irrespective of anything. So pick up a shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build some sort of um, ellipses like this. And I'm just going to modify it a little bit so it just looks a little odd. Okay. And build a few shapes. So now we have added three random shapes to it. By the way, you can add as many shapes as you want. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is you have to select our first shape that we have created. And I'm going to add a color to it. Now you can add either a solid fill to it or you can also add a gradient from here. Totally up to you. I'm going to fill a solid color to it. And I'm going to fill this light color. Okay. Something like this. This is the color that I filled to the first shape. Now the next thing that we have to do is you have to go to our effects panel. Okay. And hit the plus option. And from here, select layer blur. So what will happen is it will just blur out and spread out the color that you have. And what you have to do is you have to give a very high number in this blur option. So right now it's set to four. Let's give it a very high number. And if you see, as soon as I start increasing the blur count, the shape is blurring out and the color is spreading more and more. Okay. So let's do something around, let's say 95 seems good or maybe hundred. Okay. So now this looks a really diffuse sort of a shape. And if you see the shape doesn't matter as of now, it's just a very diffuse blob of color. And you have to do the same thing on all the two shapes or whatever the different number of shapes that you have created. And now that our three layer shapes have been created, we have created the blur around it as well. Now what you have to do is you have to just select, you have to add some uh, dummy text and copy to it so that it looks like a phone UI, but it's totally dummy. So let me add that as well. So I've already created this uh, header text as well as a CTA. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it to this. And I'll just paste it here and I'll just made it in the center. Okay. So I just made sure that everything is uh, in the center and then this is in the center. The text is in the center. So this is sort of like a loading screen that I'm making for the Headspace app. And the next thing that I have to do is I have to add this CTA button, which I'll also add it here. slightly align it here and this looks good to me okay perfect so now we have a app screen ready what we have is we have the shapes behind and we have added some sort of text here so that it looks like a app screen now what you have to do is you have to duplicate it a bunch of times the entire artboard and you have to add rotation to the shapes so let's quickly do that I've duplicated the artboard three times. Now what I have to do is I'll select. So I'll leave the first artboard as it is. And the next thing that I have to do is I'll select all the different shapes that I've created in the second artboard. Okay. And what I have to do is I'll just move this a little bit out here so that we have ample space. I'll just select all the shapes that we have created. Okay. And now what we have to do is as soon as you go to the corners, you'll get this rotation handle. So just rotate the entire shape as much as you want. Like totally up to you. You can also resize things if you want. So I'll do something like this. Okay. And then I'll come here again. Select all of my shapes again. Okay. And again, I'll do some more rotation. Something like this should work. Okay. So now we have created three different uh, artboards where the background shapes have been rotated. Now it's totally up to you. If you want to do some changes, you can also do that. If you want to elongate this, you can also do that. Like totally up to you what you want to do with these shapes. Apart from rotation, you can also add scaling. And yeah, that's, that's about it. What we have to do for the shapes. Now what we have to do is the next thing that we need to do is, is to add them into the prototyping mode. 
So what I'll do is I'll go into my prototyping settings here. I'll choose a device so that we can see the preview in a device. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is just select the first artboard and I'll select this handle from the artboard and connect it to the second artboard. And instead of on tap, I want it after delay so that it automatically moves to the next screen. I don't want any delay so that it doesn't wait on the first screen. I'll just select one here. Navigate to smart animate linear so make sure that you select linear because if you select anything else you'll see hiccups in the animation it will not be smooth and give it a very high time so i've given around 300 3000 millisecond you can give 4000 5000 whatever just give it a really high time so that you can see the animation really slowly and gently moving okay same thing from here to here collect second to third instead of on tap select everything to after delay and one millisecond and smart animate linear 3000 millisecond and from third or whatever is your last frame just connect it back to the first screen so i'm just going to connect to the first screen again and instead of on tap again i'm going to add after delay one millisecond linear and 3000 milliseconds okay and that's it now let's see how this looks like so if you see we have our UI and in the background, we are seeing this really nice soothing animation happening where the colors are merging, morphing and changing into different shapes and rotating as well. So that gives you a very nice uh, notion of something happening really subtly and smoothly happening in the background. I've also added a few more colors. So if you see, there's a lot of other colors and here the motion is slightly different. I've moved them a little bit different manner. And I have one more where I have added like three to four colors. And here also, if you see the same motion, but the motion is slightly more slowed up and it's just morphing into different screens, different colors. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That's how simple the animation was. Do try it out. Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.